once implantation occur and the implanted site gradually convert to placenta the female is pregnant right and the baby or the embryo start growing in the mother's womb and remains in the womb for a period of nine months that nine month of the period of pregnancy is called gestation period what is gestation the period of pregnancy the nine month gestation period in the human can be divided into three trimesters the three trimester are the first trimester the first three months of the pregnancy okay fourth month fifth month sixth month of the pregnancy are called second trimester seventh eighth ninth the last three months of the pregnancy are called third trimester so the entire gestation period can be divided into what three trimester during that nine month the baby undergo growth lot of changes occur organs development occur and the development of organs in the embryo we call it as organogenesis the very important few events that we see during the growth of the fetus i am going according to ncert and all of them are one one mark questions okay very important note that the few important events of the fetal growth are okay in first month what is formed heart is formed along with that blood vessels are formed blood start flowing into that anyhow ncert says in first month heart is formed by the end of second month the which is that the fetus develops limbs and digits the development of the limbs and digits will start by the end of second month by the end of third month third month means which trimester first trimester right by the end of first trimester that is three month most of the major organ systems are developed almost all organ system digestive respiratory excretory almost all direct systems are developed like limbs external genitals everything will be developed by the end of three month by the end of fifth month the in baby appearance of hair start on the body just the hair start appearing in which month fifth month and the first fetal movement also seen during fifth month highest ask question when in which month first fetal movement is seen what is your answer fifth month another question what are the changes seen in the fetus during sixth month right sixth month means which trimester second trimester okay second trimester by the end of second trimester body covered with fine hair eyelids separate eye lashes are formed so try to differentiate this by fifth month just appearance of hair will begin by sixth month body covered with fine hair it may be a male or a female baby and finally when nine month is over when the fetus completes its com entire growth it is ready for the last process called what parturition okay the baby has fully grown at the end of the nine month or at the end of gestation period the fetus is ready for parturition what is parturition the process of delivery or expulsion of the fetus is called parturition during delivery a series of events occur and those events are together called labor what is labor the series of events that occur during delivery changes that occur during delivery are called labor during this labor or delivery period mother gets severe pain that pain we call labor pain right it is called labor pain the entire mechanism of delivery of the fetus include neuro endocrine mechanism that means in this process of delivery both nervous system is involved which one is also involved hormonal or the endocrine system is also involved now how exactly delivery begins question is once growth is over 
who will initiate the delivery process whether mother will decide okay now i have to eject out the baby or fetus will decide i have to, i want to go out or something else the simple answer is once development is over try to imagine the first step in the delivery is head fixation that means the fully developed fetus face it faces its head toward birth canal upside down the head will be faced kelagade tale kelagade agide the head will be faced toward the birth canal that is called head fixation the fully developed fetus along with placenta creates a mild uterine contraction fetus along with placenta ibbaru seri mother allah fetus along with placenta induce a mild uterine contraction that trigger because of the contraction an impulse will be generated a reflex action will be generated that reflex action trigger posterior pituitary of the female to release what oxytocin hormone that oxytocin hormone is released in response to that reflex mechanism and hence this reflex is called one mark question fetal ejection reflex what is it called fetal ejection reflex one mark question what it is after head fixation okay fully developed fetus along with placenta induce a mild uterine contraction that trigger her thai not babies trigger mother's posterior pituitary to release oxytocin this phenomena is called fetal ejection reflex now the mother is releasing more and more oxytocin through blood circulation the oxytocin hormone will reach and act on the middle layer in the wall of the uterus what is that myometrium made up of smooth muscle under the influence of oxytocin the myometrium the middle layer undergo vigorous contraction iga thaiyalli contraction start agide severe pain will be induced during contraction gradually this mucus plug will rupture what is mucus plug it is a strong wall w a l l or a sphincter that is formed during the time of pregnancy in the cervix region that prevent the entry of environmental microbes to uterus during the growth of the baby horagade bacteria vagina through illige hogade iruvage kaapaduvantadu yavudu mucus plug the gravitational force is pulling down the baby this mucus plug stand against the gravitational force it safeguards the entire fetus now because of the contraction which one ruptures mucus plug ruptures gradually idakke surround agi iruva yavudu amnion ruptures chorion ruptures the amniotic fluid will start going out right solpa solpa fluid horagade hogta ide now what happens this will continue around 6 to 12 hours after that in the next around 45 minutes to 1 hour matte puna continuous contraction agi finally successfully the fetus will be ejected out expelled out through birth canal because of the repeated contraction fetus come out through the birth canal by facing which one head first the baby will come out as the baby come out the baby will cry or laugh of course the baby will cry why as the baby come to the environment for the first time what happens is the with a high atmospheric pressure the air will rush to the baby because of which the constricted lungs and alveoli with a very high pressure as air enter inside the lung start stretching because of the stretching of the lung in the baby which experience severe pain it will cry 
Hence, first cry of the baby is the first respiration of the baby. Is that clear? So, this is how the delivery of the occur, baby occur. What you doctor will do? You will plug the or you will clamp the uh, umbilical cord. You will cut the umbilical cord. Right? No. Now, after the expulsion of the child or the fetus, Still, the mother in the uterus, the contraction continues. Magu horagade bandha mele kuda contraction akta ide. So that after that, the placenta also expelled out. Placenta cannot be kept inside. After the expulsion of the child, the contraction continues to expel the placenta out. That also goes out. This is how the parturition process will be complete. Is it clear? You may have a doubt why it is head first, head always comes first. In very rare cases, the babies will born with the leg first. If a baby born with the leg first, such babies are called what? Breech baby. Baby born with leg first. Usually now yaak head first aage barte vyan ta keli dhra The head weighs more or the head is I'm sorry. Head is larger in diameter when compared to shoulder. A magu anna niu nodi dhra horagade barwaga. Shoulder ige compare maadwaga. Head has a larger diameter. That's why it faces which one first? Head first. If it is all the time leg, what may happen? One leg may pass through it, another may not. Complication in the delivery. That is why this process is a clear. Suppose the mother is ready for the delivery, but the pain or the contraction is not enough. Then what you will do? That time to induce parturition, to induce delivery, you will give the injection of which one? oxytocin the market name is pitocin medical shop ige hogi pitocin kodi ant helidre avaru nimige oxytocin injection kodtare to induce delivery you will give her which injection oxytocin or the commercial name pitocin will be given is it clear suppose by that also she is not able to undergo normal delivery that time what you will do you will do caesarean it is not caesar the caesarean is caesarean section will be done by cutting the abdomen it is not sci it is a caesarean okay by cutting the abdominal wall you will take the baby out this is all about the process of which one delivery here one mark question what is fetal ejection reflex very important what is the role of oxytocin very important oxytocin is also called child birth hormone already in my previous lecture i told you oxytocin is known as a milk ejecting hormone alva illi helta idene it is also called child birth hormone or the delivery hormone after this the last process left is what what is that lactation what is lactation the process of production of milk and feeding the young one with the milk is called lactation process of production of milk and feeding the young one with the breast milk is called lactation the initial few days of the milk is called colostrum not cholesterol the initial few days of the milk which is slightly yellowish in color and is called colostrum one mark question what is there in the colostrum the colostrum is rich with nutrients and antibody like which one IgA antibody is present initial few days of the milk is called colostrum which is rich with nutrients and has IgA antibody. Can you recall which antibody can cross placenta? Answer is IgG. Which antibody produced by mother through breast milk goes to infant, not fetus? Magu haragade bandide. Igenata karitiri. Infant and gives immunity to infant. Answer is IgA. Breast milk alirva antibody yadu? IgA. Placenta cross madodu? IgG. Is that clear? This is all about the chapter human reproduction. Its basic, its knowledge is very important to study the next chapter reproductive health.